Hello everyone, welcome back to a and Series of Host Day and Z, and today we are doing some more Is It Preferable? We Today we are opening up this lovely Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box. I was very surprised when I saw it in the store. It, I, I immediately had to grab it, like there was no, there was no question in my mind. But, yeah, um, in our Sword and Shield collection, we have a decent bit, but I know we don't have them all, like I can tell you that now. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. And so if you're wondering about how the show works and you are new here, hi, congratulations. If you like it, you know, subscribe baby. But um basically how the show works is I take something and I open it and I compare what I paid for it and I could and I see if it is profitable. But with Pokemon I know there's like a or at least back Mainly back in 2021, there was a really big, um, like, shortage of cards. But I'm not doing this just to make a profit. It's more of, hey, there's this angle. Let's see if maybe it's, you know, just kind of a neat, unique way to open up these cards. Okay. Unsleeve it. We got the player's guide here. You know, typical player's guide. I don't remember this Pokemon thing. I'm not going to lie. It's in the title. But, <laughs> I literally do not remember its name. But we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna start with the Z, but they both start with the Z. Got that. Now we got everything inside. Looking all nice. We got one of the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs right here. As well as the typical... Sleeves, and then you got the card. I do give out all of the cards in the video. Well, let me zoom in. This is like a little bit out. There we go. Um, and then we got the energies. Got all of the dividers, and then you get the typical dice and counters and else in the other. Interesting, but yeah, let's get into this. I'm gonna set these over to the side off camera, go there, zoom in a little bit, and hopefully, we get some good stuff. Let's begin. Get the first pack here, looking all nice. There isn't exactly a particular order that these go in. So, basically, this I paid 40 bucks for this, and at the end, we are gonna count up all of the rares and we will see if. It would be possible if I saw all of, like the rare cards. One, two, three, four. To the front. We got an energy looking all nice. We got a probably didn't need to zoom in a little more. Um a Glacian Nigun Linun. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um we got an energy switch. A Bisharp. A I'm going on the ground. A Slowder. A Mobile. Soul, Glacium Punita, Maracus, a Reverse Hollow Furrow Seed, and a Santa Kuna, Kunda. I believe we got the B version of this one time. I don't remember if it was for the set or not, but I remember getting, it was like a full RV, I believe, or might have been VMAX, I don't exactly remember. But, look back in the videos. And maybe you'll try that. Because I believe that was for some sort of video. But to be fair, yeah. Anyway, we got the next one. Nice. Put that on the ground. Now we got one, two, three, and a four to the front. We got a lovely energy. At the wank, a Poke Gear 3.0, a Aurora Energy, Grow a Gunk, Silly Cobra, Minkuno, go with that, a Vulpix, Makuna, a Reverse Hollow Lucky Egg, and oh, you can see from the bottom there, we got, ooh, a more Pico V. Put him over there with the special. 
the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. Two packs down, six more to go. If it'll open today. Yes, it will. Mutual sound off the alarm. We got, there's your lovely code card. Throw it on the ground. Now we got one, two, three, and a four. Looking all nice today. We got a lovely energy, a lumberry. See, I move this one. There we go. A Corvusquire, a Galvatuna, Tula, a Sylzipede, a Zigzagoon, a Mona, Slum, Snom, Grookey, a Reverse Hollow Snom, and a Whimsicott. Looking all nice right there. Fourth pack, here we come. Hopefully, get some more additions to the VIP section. It is a really nice full art, though. Like, if it was just for a normal V, that's actually a really nice full art. I do gotta say, we also don't have it yet. There you go, there is your lovely code card. Okay, oh. Nice there, now we got one, two, three, and a four. Looking very nice. So we got a lovely energy. A Kingsler. Right on. Big charm. Score bunny. Pikachu. Slimsy. A Wooloo. Shelter. A reverse hollow of the wanky and a Dreadnought, which I think we have a few Dreadnoughts, if I remember correctly from our past openings. I think we have plenty of him. And also, I do sell some cards on this app. It's called Whatnot. It's in my description. If you want to join, make sure you know you are of age. But I believe it's 18 and up. Um, or maybe 13 up. I don't know. Look at the rules. Um, but basically, I sell on there some cards that I see in the comments people want from the openings or just cards I have, like, duplicates of for a few bucks. Not really to make an actual profit. It's just more, hey, here's a card I have. Maybe you need it also. Um, we got an Energy. Buddy. Raboot. A Rare Candy. Yamper. Grookey, a Colfunt, Baltoy, Sinchu, a Reverse Hollow Knockdown, and ooh, a 7 by V. I believe we do have that one, if I remember right, but it is possible that we don't. Either way, a nice addition to the VIP section. Set that right there. I can really show us just the camera a little bit. It's getting a little out of the way. Now, I do have three more. Hopefully, these three do us some good, as they say. Throw that down on the ground. We got, there's the code card for all your code needs. I give them all out because I don't really play the online version that much. Or else if I keep them for myself. An Energy, an Eldegoss, a Air Balloon, a Palpad, a Gossifleur, a Goldeen, a Diglett, a Sorpy, a Hoot Hoot, a Reverse Hollow Mudbray, and a Galician Rapidash. That is one I don't believe we have, which is good. And I believe we might have that one in a verse hall already, but that's fine. We got two more left. Let's get into it. So far, I gotta say, I can't complain about these packs. We got two VE cards out of the things so far, but I really hope we can get at least another one else. I don't think we can call this profitable. At least in 
my opinion. We got that one looking nice. Especially since this isn't like a new set or anything. If it was a newer set, it's going to be more or less worth more because people haven't gotten the cards yet type thing. But yeah, so we got energy, a frat horn, all right, throw that down there. Frat horn, a Raboot, Lumberry, Crabby, Glacian Ponita, Cottony, Score Bunny, Silly Gripper, Ooh, a Verse Hollow Ball Picks, and Ooh, a Hollow Marnie. I can't talk anymore. Okay, we got one more pack. Hopefully it comes out of v -Rust. I am not sure if this will be profitable, but we'll count it up while at the end. And I mean, hopefully we can at least make our money back. Quote unquote. Um, yeah. So, there is the code card. Now we got one, two, three, and a four. Looking all nice. We got a energy. Great ball. Poke, I almost said Pokemon. Potion. A right on. Ghastly. Rokity. Sizzlepin. Snum. Motherwell. A reverse hollow quick ball and a Corviknight. So, I'm gonna go do some math and we will see if this was profitable. Okay, so according to so according to my calculations, we have a decent total going on. Um, I got a total of thirty dollars, approximately. So we, if we were to technically sell almost everything, we could probably definitely make our money back, maybe a dollar or two additional. But our biggest profits were this one was um over four dollars, which I was very surprised of. This one was a little bit under two dollars, and this one was actually like close to like two fifty at current market um trading prices um at the time of recording this video. So yeah, um I hope you guys did enjoy my stuff. Like down below, subscribe, etc. You guys already it is YouTube, and I shall see you guys next time.